we're back. We're back. We're talking brands. Brands, 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 honey. <laughs> Okay, hey honey, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, hi, my name is Gold. And if you are a returning subscriber, honey, welcome back home, honey. <laughs> Today's video, we are going to be talking about everything brands, micro influencer, and I'm a, and I want to work with brands. How do I do that? So a quick disclaimer, I am also just a micro influencer. I have worked with a couple of brands, I'd like to say so myself, I've worked with a couple of brands, so I feel like I can advise the next micro influencer on how to maneuver or just get yourself recognized or just get brands to see you and see your name um, as a micro influencer. So I'm, I'm this, in this video, I'm, I'm speaking specifically to micro influencers only and maybe um, your nano influencers. So anything above that, uh, just click out of this video, okay? In this video, I'm going to be very honest, very transparent, and I'm speaking basically, I'm going to be speaking, oh, Sehoa is not Englishing. I'm going to be speaking based on my experience as Gold Soul, and I'm going to really try not to be niche specific, but because I am a beauty content creator, it's sort of going to be speaking more towards beauty, but I mean, if you can look at this video with an open mind in whatever category or whatever niche that you're in, I think these tips and tricks will be able to help you. Yeah? Yeah, so if you do enjoy this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below what you think. Was it helpful? If not, like just share some comments. I'd really like to know how you guys found this video. Should I do any like more micro influencer tips and tricks on how to break just break in and just also be part or part of the community and just break into the industry and you know do would you guys would um, like these kind of videos i feel like english is not englishing today so bear with me <laughs> um i wrote everything down on my phone so I'm just gonna get right into it. I just want this video to be straight to the point. So I've been meaning to shoot this video for a while now. I got a DM and this girl was asking me like, how how do I break in? I wanna I wanna work with brands. I want brands to recognize me. How do I do it? What do I do? What do I do? So first things first. What I did in the beginning was I knew I knew about like there's so many brands in this world, but I knew about one particular brand that I loved. In my category or, or in my niche or in my industry that I just loved and I wanted to work with in the future and I was like I'm gonna work with that future I'm gonna work with that brand I don't care how long it's gonna take so figure out I know not even figure out there's just always one brand in your mind especially when you're starting out there's just always that one brand that you want to work with like you see yourself actually working with that brand that's how I started and I literally focused on that brand all the time. I made sure that in every content that I create, it's for that brand because I like I loved that brand. Like I just loved that brand. So figure out which brand. Yeah, so tip number one is figure out the brand, that one brand, just that one brand. After that, I mean you can just yeah, you'll be getting collaborations, hopefully. But figure out that one brand that you really want to work with and because I mean when you start off, when I started off, I didn't have all the money. That's why I just couldn't focus on too many brands because girl, where am I gonna get all the money to be buying all these products? I mean I'm in the makeup industry, I'm in the beauty industry. Where gonna where am I gonna get the money to buy foundation after foundation from every single brand? So I was just like, you know what, let me be realistic with myself. There's just this one brand that I love and I'm gonna work my ass for that brand. And I did. And it paid off. So the first tip is literally discover which brand, that brand that you really want to work with from the core of your heart and you want to create content for that for that brand and they must give you money. Just discover that brand first of all. And then after that, show the brand that you really love their products. That's the second tip. Um, in the beauty industry, obviously I can buy makeup, I can buy, I can buy foundation, hold on. And I can buy lip gloss from that particular brand and then create content for that brand every single time they launch. So sort of follow, follow that, that brand for as long as you know that there's one particular brand that you love and you dream of working with, follow that brand. You will know the latest updates as to which products they're launching very soon, which product is doing so well and you go and get that product. If you can't afford to buy everything, because in the beginning I couldn't be, I, like I just couldn't afford to buy every single product. But I was able to buy at least one lip gloss, a foundation, 
you know it's new it's literally new in the market and then I buy it and I create content from that for that brand <clears throat> so show the brand that you love them and you love their products but obviously purchasing and creating content for them okay okay then the next thing is consistency is key continue making content as if you're getting paid that is so important make content for that brand as if you're getting paid guys i made content for this particular brand as if like i swear people would probably think that i have been yazini on the campaign list for this brand and dude i literally started this month this month i don't know when this video is going to come out but i just got added onto the campaign list for this particular brand this month i have been i have been creating um i've been creating reels and creating content for this brand for a very long time like guys oh my gosh if you know which brand i'm talking about that's good but i just don't want to like mention brands but i've been creating content for this brand for a very long time and i'm only added onto the um campaigns list or people influencer list that they're gonna send the pr and stuff like that for this brand this month like only now so honestly consistency is key the statement is so true consistency is key create content as if you're getting paid by this brand if you were getting paid you'd want your content to be clean if you were getting paid you'd want your content to be nice and damn lovely like i should work like you worked for this so create console creates content as if you've been working for this brand from day one create a real create um a youtube video create a take content pictures just create content as if you you're getting paid for this for this for this for this brand and trust me for as long as you're being consistent with that the brand will see it like the brand will definitely see it i'm speaking from exper experience baby okay so the next thing that i have is see what other content creators in your category or industry are doing so this is also straightforward so in the beauty industry <clears throat> your content creators that are obviously getting paid you will see if a content creator is getting paid by a particular brand to do, to do something so if you have an idea on how you want to go about with your content see what 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 your peers or other content creators or influencers in your niche in your niche are doing um, it can be your celebrity content creators it can be your macro influ um, influ influences or your micro influences so you can just play around with like looking at what people are doing like oh okay so this product just launched let's see what is what not doing um, let's see how are they like how are they creating content because I mean you are not on the category or the brand hasn't seen you yet so let me not say the brand hasn't seen you because I'm gonna get to that so let's say you're not you're not on the campaigns list yet okay so just look at what other people are doing that are actually getting paid to do these kinds of videos these kinds of content things you know so just see okay they are doing they are using this foundation all oh, this foundation just launched let me go buy it if i've got the money come back home create content around that foundation so just see what your peers or other content creators are doing especially with regards to that particular brand that you're talking about so i'm making it one brand specific because in the beginning when you start like like i said like it's so difficult especially if you're a student or you just don't have a job you you won't see yourself spending money on every single brand buying every single product because i want to just work with every single brand take it one step at a time buy one product from buy one product from one particular brand that you really love and grow your profile grow yourself from just that one brand you buy what you can afford buy what you can you bought the foundation go home create a beautiful look beautiful look out of that foundation and create a real post it around the same time as so i know most of the time i, I know during business working business working days from eight to five just to post you know so and tag the brand i was getting there tag 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 the brand you guys think tag you guys think tags don't work think again think again i mean it worked for me <laughs> it worked for me i've been tagging this brand damn I've been I don't know for how long, but I've been telling this brand. So continue doing it until the brand sees you. Brands are always watching. 
one like from the brand of your dreams goes a long way baby please play that again play that again if you didn't hear me play that again brands are always watching i think people forget this i'm guilty of it brands are always watching brands are always watching like brands are always looking brands are always looking for new people to work with brands are always looking brands are always looking especially if you're a micro influencer please don't think you're just because you're a micro influencer i'm getting to that let me just let's just continue brands are always looking and one like from your brand goes a long way i think when i received my first like from this particular dream brand of mine yo i went crazy dude i went crazy when i saw this one like from just one like dude it's fine I, your other other people get followed by these brands it's fine I'm still starting out when I got the like I went crazy I was like this is this means something they've seen me I need to continue they like it I need to continue so continue until the brand sees you post until this brand sees you just do it until the brand sees you please please I'm giving you so much free information guys you'll thank me trust me so do it until the brand sees you I've got nothing else to say I've got nothing else to say besides that do it until the brand sees you then I just mentioned how being a micro influencer don't think just because I'm a micro influencer uh, brands are not gonna see me baby baby listen to this one brands are starting to look into working with micro influencers because these are the ones that people relate more with and these are the people that create that realistic impact Honestly, when you're a micro influencer or when you're just starting out, you create content like your content. I'm not saying that I'm not saying that the other people don't. Please don't get me wrong. Please, please don't get me wrong. But but just think about it. Just think about it. When you are a micro influencer, a nano influencer, let's just speak mostly to micro influencers, you create that content that is like it's from passion. It's from like damn, especially if you do what I you use the trick that I did of um, focusing on one particular brand, just until you can grow just until you grow you know so i love this particular brand so i'm gonna create content for them because i love them so just that's why i just want you to pick a brand that you love because you'll be able to create a relatable content and you'll be able to create realistic content and you will have a realistic impact you get it so please if you're a micro influencer and you feel like i'm not moving brands are not seeing me please just whatever i've said so far honey please just implement this for six months give yourself six months con consistently game changer game changer tips game changer tips gary <laughs> once the brands start recognizing you they want they will want to work with you because we are the people that create sort of that we have that realistic impact i just really want you to get this in your scale we have that realistic impact when you have my when you are a micro influencer don't be discouraged because i don't have the big numbers continue create content for these brands continue con continue creating content for this particular brand or that particular brand that you love and when they work with you it will you will even feel like actually like it will be even easier for you to create the content because you love the brand and people will be able to resonate with you like the content like it would just be so realistic when someone else watches this video will be like oh this is so like damn like i can relate to this person you know you want to be relatable all the time have you ever had that thing where you look at your micro not micro macro influences or your celebrities and you see them doing a campaign that is very like let's just have i just want you to like to see my vision or just hear what i'm saying there's a, a macro influencer so macro influencers are sort of like your big people not too big but the macro wait just hold on hold on hold on hold on there's micro there's macro my battery's flashing micro macro celebrity they all have this one campaign that they need to do they all release that content i know the, the celebrity content can just look pleasing to your eye it can just look pretty it can just be like oh this is nice but then the content that is more relatable and has the realistic content is from the micro influencer so please don't 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 think your content is not being seen don't think your content doesn't do anything micro influencers have that you know that that's what you have okay okay then the next thing um the next point that i have is it's hard Yes, it's hard it's hard it takes long it's tiring 
but when you do get approached by brands try to be honest do you like the brand just because it's just because you're a smaller influencer or you're, you're you are a micro influencer that doesn't mean you should take every brand and every opportunity that comes your way i'm very guilty of this myself i don't have to work with every brand when you do start working with brands you don't have to work with every brand when a brand approaches you you've Bold yourself, you don't have to work with every brand that comes your way, honestly. You don't have to do that to yourself. If you don't like the brand, it's okay. Doesn't mean just because I've got 10,000 followers, I need the money. Let me just work with this brand. It's okay, you don't have to. I'm guilty of that doing, like, I'm guilty of that. I have seen the opportunity and I was like, let me take it because I need the money. <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to. It's hard in the beginning because brands are coming in left, right, and center. You don't have to. <laughs> I need to practice what I preach, especially on this one, especially on this one. And then the next one um, that I have is working with brands may take long. I'm speaking from experience. It's going to take long. It's going to, you're going to have days where you're just like, um, should I continue? Should I do this? Should I continue? Like, I mean, they're not seeing me. Gafana, gafana. Like, should I? Ah, uh, It's long. It's tiring. It's not boring. It's boring if you don't like it. It's boring if you don't have the passion. But if you're enjoying what you're doing, it's fun, but it's long, it's tiring. So you just need to have the energy for that. It could take years, it could take uh, overnight if you're a person that goes viral, but it takes long. It takes long, it really takes long. Um, especially if you wanna stay and have a great impact, a good impact, it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time. So you need to have the patience and the drive and the passion. Okay, and then the last point that I have before my camera dies is passion is so important before brand partnership. That is so important. <laughs> that is so important. I think my lady M official said this and I was just like, girl, this is so important. I can relate to this 100%. Passion is so important before brand partnership. Imagine if I didn't have love the brand that I was sticking with from day one. Imagine if I didn't love it. Like, Imagine, not even love the brand, but imagine if I didn't have the passion for actually creating content. Like, I don't have the passion, I'm just doing it because I want the money, and, uh, and, 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 and. There's no passion, it's just money. Please, that's why I always say, that's why I did say in the beginning, um, create content as if you're getting paid. That's part of passion, because it's passion. Like, I, I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about creating content, but passion is so important. Passion is so important before brand partnership. All of us want to work with brands. We all want to be the face of. We all want to be ambassador of. But if you don't have the passion, forget it. Forget it. Forget it, unless you're gonna fake it till you make it, I don't know. But along the way, we will see what you've been faking. So rather have the passion. If you are not into it, don't do it. It looks fun now, it looks nice. You know, Mang Mang is getting recognized, Mang Mang is on the face of, Mang Mang is ambassador of, but just because Mang Mang, if you don't have the passion for it, it won't work out for you. If you wanna be face of, and you don't have the passion of actually the process, going through the whole process of actually starting out as a content creator and no brand is like you have zero followers, zero likes, nothing, and you are gonna, you know, if you don't have the passion to start from number one or number zero, like, it's just not gonna work. It's just not gonna be, it's just not gonna work. So I feel like you should be honest with yourself. If this is what you really wanna do, it will show in your work. And if you're doing this for the money, it will show in your work. If you have the passion for it, it will definitely show in your work. If you love what you do, besides the money and the brands, it will definitely show in your work. So I hope this video was somewhat informative. I hope you took something from the few words that I said. These tips really did work for me. I did not Google these tips. I got them from myself because that I think that's why this video took so long to come out because I was like what do I actually want to say I really want to give someone information that will work that has worked for me and everything that I said here has worked for me it takes long it takes long it's tiring but it's not boring so if you guys did enjoy this video please give this video a thumbs up and if you um, have anything to say any questions Trust me, my DMs are always open. Um, my comments down below are always open. I'm always reading, I'm always responding. So I don't mind doing another video or responding to you directly. So if you have any questions, I'm really trying to speak to my micro influencers. Micro influencers, please. Um, 
you you can't break you can't be the 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 bad the baddest 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 influencer in the game okay so i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i will see you honey honeys i will see you all in my next video bye honey